Hello, hello. Welcome to the first episode of Beyond the Playbook with Bo Pelini. I am your co-host, Patrick Pelini, and we are super excited to finally release our first podcast. In this intro episode, we cover exactly what our vision is for this podcast, what we'll talk about, who we're going to bring on. We'll start the season recording in our hometown of Youngstown, Ohio, and we'll give some background on the importance that Youngstown and the people from the Valley in particular that have had an amazing impact on our lives and our careers. We take a little bit of time to record with some different local guests that that we'll be able to speak on Youngstown and, and how they're proud to represent the area every day. We talk a little bit about our personal backgrounds and the importance of our upbringing and the people that have helped us throughout the way specifically in the area and we'll get into some of the struggles we both had in athletics and our careers and you know how Youngstown has provided you know, a consistent support system for us in the community and our schools um, and in our family amongst the, you know, the adversity of of career pivots, job changes, you know, a little bit more on Youngstown and the talent and success that has transcended from the area in athletics and business. And we'll discuss this a little more in the episode, but we want this first season to have sort of an origin arc style, you know, before we start bringing on other guests outside of the area. But overall, we're super excited to put out this content ourselves because, you know, at times the media has painted our family out, you know, out in a certain way that's been frustrating for us at times when you know we doom scrolled on social media uh, but this is a way for us to get our message out and and you know we put out content that we feel truly represents the Polini family because we've always seen and, and and the people that truly know us have seen the true side of me of Bo and of our entire family uh, we have some great content for you guys but first I really want to mention that if you've made it this far be sure to engage like subscribe save link tree will be in our bio but thank you for tuning in hope you guys enjoy the first episode and this podcast is something that we don't have a whole lot of experience doing yet so go easy on us we're going to get better week by week and our content will continue to develop uh ep by ep but here it is hope you guys enjoy all right so it's been a long time coming you know we've talked about doing this for a long time i think it's it's something that we've talked about as a family you know between You know, Kate, Carolyn, mom, our cousins, our, you know, our extended family, everybody has kind of wanted us to start putting a production together for a podcast. And I think this is the first time that we've actually, you know, made headway with putting something together. So I wanted to, you know, number one, like kind of get, get a little like life update, you know, what point in your career, like led you to. Let's first tell them, tell them all, this is a beyond the playbook podcast. Yep. I'm Bo Pelini. And I'm Patrick Pelini. And we are live from our house here in Youngstown, Will Canfield. Yes, and, sir. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to bringing, bringing you guys a little bit of an authentic view of, you know, our lives. Want to, you know, number one, you know, kind of give everybody a little bit of an update, you know, on your career and kind of what led you to putting together some sort of, you know, uh, podcast because we've talked about it for years, you know, trying to get you to, do something like this where you're able to tell your your awesome stories that you tell us at the dinner table every night. But I think this is the first time that we've actually, you know, decided to, you know, do this. So what kind of led you to, you know, pulling the trigger on this and, and starting something new? I know you've been out in the golf course a lot and, you know, you haven't had, you know, any coaching responsibilities. So, you know, tell me, tell me a little bit about that. Why, you know, why you think we're doing this? Well, I mean, I mean, uh, obviously I've been, I coached for a long time. And uh, my last stint was at LSU, but I mean, I spent, Mm -hmm. I mean, gosh, I gotta, I have to think about it. Nine, I mean, I've been over, well over 20 years in the coaching profession, a lot of those years as a head coach, Mm -hmm. um, many years as a coordinator. Um, It was just time, you know, and, and, you know, got a chance to, uh, after I left LSU, you know, we moved, came back here and, uh, Youngstown's my home. It's always been my home and, and it's, you know, your home. That's where we moved you from after we left Nebraska. And, and, uh, you know, you, you think back to what, what leads you to things like this, you know, you and I, obviously we've talked about this and, uh, is the fact that there are certain things that were important to me that, you know, having grown up here, gone through years and years of coaching and trying to develop kids, not only obviously you and Kate and Carolyn, you know, my kids, but the, the kids who played for me, but, um, all those things lead you to having certain things that are important to you. And, and, uh, it's, you know, I'm about, you you know, what do we stress to you? Hard work, uh, focus, um, you know, 
putting a good day's work in and mm-hmm. really getting what you earn. Um, all, all the, a bunch of things that our podcast is going to be based on. Right. And so tell me a little bit about, you know, your, your background, our background, being from Youngstown, being from, you know, Cardinal Mooney, like what some of the people like coach Butchie, maybe that, you know, kind of led you to, you well, know, it have starts that, that with Youngstown my mentality. With, yeah. Well, it starts with obviously, you know, grandpa, grandma and grandpa on, on my side of, uh, in my, you know, my life, my parents, uh, you know, raising, I'm the youngest of eight kids. Yeah. They raised us, uh, um, in, in such a way that, uh, you know, it was always family first and really that's the way Youngstown is. It, it's about family. It's about people. And, you know, the, the things that we were, were taught growing up, uh, I think, you know, it, it led right into, me, you know, going to Mooney, you know, following in my brother's footsteps and getting to, to Cardinal Mooney. And, and these are all people that along the way are going to, you know, be part of this podcast. And, you know, we're going to, that's just going to be how we go about it, you know, because I think that's an important part of our story. But, you know, and then, then moving on to Mooney and, uh, all the, th- the things that I, that, that will stress about fundamentals, about the little things, about detail, all those things that you learn along the way. I mean, those are ingrained in us at a, at a young age, you know, from, you know, when I was playing at, at Cardinal Mooney, you know, it was in football it was coach Butchie, it was coach Stoops, you know, Bob, Mike, Mark, their, their, their father was our defensive coordinator. And, um, Tony can Jemmy, these, these people that had a, he had a huge impact on, on not only myself, but look at all the guys from Youngstown that have coached. Yeah. So tell, tell me a little bit about that. So you mentioned the Stoops as, you know, coach can coach Butchie, you know, and I think a lot of the, you know, another reason why we wanted to start this podcast is to show, you know, the authentic side of you and show that like, you're not just a, you know, such a fiery guy on the sidelines all the time. That's just the way that you compete and everything that you do, you know, you, your profession was coaching. So that's where it all came from. But, you know, tell us a little bit about how, you know, that's, you know, that doesn't just, you know, reciprocate through the Polini family, you know, it's, you know, coach, you know, it's just a, it's a, you know, that fiery personality that comes with Youngstown. It's just something that, you know, it, it's, well, it's very, coach. Yeah, it's you very, have... you know, in, in particular, the, the area has a lot of coaches that kind of have that sort of personality right well yeah I don't, I don't think yeah everybody has to coach within their own personality it was like when i got to nebraska the for after i coached in the nfl for nine years i get to nebraska and it was like there was always an adjective in front of my name and you know quote unquote it was that was it was kind of bullshit you know that that's who they i was different you know that they you know there was like fiery and there was always an adjective in front of my name they didn't know me and there's a lot of people that don't, they don't, they don't know what I'm all about. They don't know. I mean, I'm actually, if you, a lot of people who know me probably would say he's a pretty laid back guy, but when I go to compete, I want to win. Mm-hmm. And that's what we were, that's what we were taught growing up Win. I mean, and there, there was no gray. There was no patting you on the back. There was no, uh, points for second place. It was when you took the field to when you went to compete. It was to win, and you didn't win. That wasn't it wasn't acceptable, and that's the way it was in my house. That was the way it was in our backyard. That's the way it was when I was in fourth grade, fifth grade, right up on through. That's just the way it is. The way it was. That's not the way the world is now, unfortunately. Um, we're the, in this in this culture of everybody gets a trophy. But that's the way it was in, in Youngstown growing up. That's the way it was pretty much in Youngstown right now. And I think that's going to be super interesting to kind of, you know, recap is, you know, bringing on, you know, people, you know, my our cousin Mark, you know, cousin Tim, uh, you know, w- hopefully, you know, we can we can get some interesting people on in the area to kind of, you know, recap how like you have a black and white personality. You know, you're going to say what you think and you're going to coach hard. And, you know, you're going to demand excellence at all times. Uh, but, like, at the end of the day, and I think this is what people don't understand, you know, quite don't understand about you. Like, you, you know, you are very demanding, but, you know, you have a, a side of you that, you know, is 
you have a great personality, you're relatable and you're going to, you know, you're going to love people too. You know, it's not, it's not like you're just all the time, you know, I, you know, just, you're, you're not just always focused on work. You know, you're, you're going to approach relationships with, with love and care is, you know, but you're going to, but you're going to, you know, you're going to coach hard. You're going to demand the most out of people. And, you know, some people I, th- I think don't understand that about you. And I think, yeah, they never really chose to, to see that side of me. And, uh, you know, there's, you talk to my players and they give you a lot different view of who I am than, uh, than the media, especially the guy, the ones who knew me really well. Yeah. Than what the media portrayed me as and, and yeah, you know, so which, you know, I, I never really bothered with that. I didn't, you know, you, you can try to change your perception. I mean, I, I had guys back then when I was coaching that, you know, try, you know, put this, you know, wear this or do that. I, I, I was, I was going to be who I was. And if they didn't like it, tough. Khaki pants and polos. That's, that's how <laughs> I roll. You, you know, some of the guys back there used to, back when I was at, at Nebraska, it was, uh, it was cargo shorts on the, on the field. And, um, you know, it was, you know, that's just the way, the way I went. And, right. and I, I wasn't concerned with all that. My, my job was to develop young, was a, first of all, to develop young men, get them to graduate, uh, and along the way, win a lot of football games. And <laughs> we did that probably to a degree that, uh, it, it damn sure hasn't been done at Nebraska since I've been there. Uh, you know, we had a good run at YSU. Um, but mo- most importantly, you, you see the kids who, who have gone through our program are having success. That's what it's all about. I mean, it's about the, the long term. And uh, it's, you know, the, they have a lot more years. Like when you talk about college football, and he, really even pro football when I coached in the pros. And, and I have some lasting relationships of guys I coached when I was in the NFL. But... When, when when guys are done, you know we talk we you know we call this podcast beyond the playbook. It can also be beyond you know when you talk about the players beyond the playing field. You have a lot more years after that than you do while you're playing. And mm-hmm. a, a coach and and I hope I had a a, a, a an impression on pe on, on 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 young men on on guys is on the way I coached them and the example I set and and what I demanded of them. Um, and what we taught them along the way. And I hope that that, uh, that's what we want to do through this podcast too. I want people to, to listen to this podcast and get to show something why, out of it. to show yeah. why that that's the way that you, you approach things, you know, yes. in your day to day and and show that that can uh, hopefully give them things they can apply to their life and their career and their philosophy, maybe how they're raising their kids or, you know, a lot of different things, you know, uh, people apply it the way they want to, but hopefully mm-hmm. they get something out of it. Right. So, so tell me a little bit about, you know, what, what else might have motivated you to start, you know, a podcast. So you, you've obviously been on, you know, a few different podcasts, you know, you came out to Chicago to visit me, you went on the Redline radio, you know, you've been on part of my take a few times and you've obviously done, you know, a, a podcast with, with on the bus with Will and with Will and Taylor. So did that have a, any, you know, role in, in your motivation to kind of start this and get this going? Yeah, I think that, it was, I have time. I can only hit too many, so many golf balls out of bounds before, uh, <laughs> you know, but I, I had some time and I, I thought it was a good, I, I, you know, I thought it was something that you and I could do together. I think it could be beneficial for a lot of people. Um, tell a story, uh, tell, you know, some of the great things that, that I had, that you had, it, it, our, our family has experienced all the people we've come to know. You know, the city of Youngstown is going to be a big part of this because it, it's it's very big in the in uh, I mean it's had a you look at the city of Youngstown and and the it's had a big impact on college football and you know you talk about Youngstown people know you know people in the football world know know it I think it's there's a isn't it mo- most players per capita get sent to the NFL from uh, I don't know about that for a while there I know it was up there. But I know that uh, there's definitely a lot of talent that comes out of the Cleveland, you know, Youngstown, Akron. Oh, Northeast areas. Ohio's always been big. Youngstown's been a hotbed. Um, obviously, the population has dwindled in, in recent years. But I mean, heck, when I was growing up, and 
uh, I mean, there were, I mean, there were coaches, there were, you know, the power five quote unquote coaches. There were guys that went in there and that's the only area they recruited. That was it. Cause there were so many players that came out of here. So, and I think that's why you see so many successful coaches come out of here. I mean, there's, you know, uh, they, they played great football growing up. They, uh, they were coached very well and they were coached the right way and the right principles were instilled in them. And, uh, because that, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to what are you all about? And, uh, you know, you, you, you people get all, uh, we'll get, you know, a little more detail in it, but people get caught up in the wrong things. Certain things lead to winning and lead to success. And you better have a strong core. And, uh, and I think that that's what we got growing up. Yeah, and you always talked about, you know, at least with me, like, limiting your distractions and, and making sure that you, you know, you focus on the task at hand and yeah. Think just... about this. Think about the noise that comes in kids, kids, people. I mean, our country, look at our country right now. There's so much noise. You talk, I mean, the, you know, right now the whole Elon Musk thing that's going on. Um, he wants free speech, uh, you know, right, wrong or indifferent. Because there's uh, definitely been censorship going on in, in, on social media. Yeah, and, but there's so much noise out there. It's like, what do you want to choose? What do you want to listen to on a daily basis? And they that and the key, one of the big keys to having success in this day and age, is how do you limit the noise, or how do you pick the right things to listen to? Hopefully, I want to give a voice to somebody saying, you know, when they listen to this, when we listen to Beyond the playbook, we're gonna get, we're gonna get it real. It's gonna be real. Gonna uh, be real I, I, that's one of the things we were taught. I was actually thinking about calling this was keeping it real, and that's what we're gonna do. And you know, the the I, I don't show. I've I, I've never sugarcoated things. I'm not gonna sugarcoat things on this podcast. And we're gonna give it to you straight. Uh, uh, give real life lessons. Things that have really have guests on that that have been there done that uh yeah and, go a little and go a little bit into that so who who are you thinking you know who who what are the types of people that you want to you know bring on the podcast it's going to be a wide v- it's going to be a wide variety and uh you know from players that I've coached coaches that I've uh competed against coached with um players uh, like I said uh I mean some they're just different people that I think can can add some value to the show. I mean, some business people uh, that uh, I, I know are going to add that that I know what they're all about. I know that they represent the right things and um, and, and have a great and good stories to tell. It, it's there's going to be uh, it's going to be ever evolving. We're going to start this first season. It's going to be about. You know, given given a, a good solid foundation, like we said about where I come from, where you come from, what we what we value. Uh, have a, we're going to have a couple of my uh, actually relatives, but uh, even like kids who played, two guys who played for me. Um, uh, an, another special guest from Youngstown that'll be coming up here in the next couple of days, and um, and. So it's going to be more of a background, more of a an origin arc, yeah, type style. origin about where 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 we came from and what I believe in as a coach, uh, things that you that I beat over your head every day, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and start there so people know, you know, pick like I said, do they want to be they want to listen to us. Uh, that that's what we're going to be all about. And, that, and this is going to give them the first, first season is going to give them a little bit of a background and kind of lead in the great things to come. And that's a wrap on episode one. Again, if you'd like what you heard, please be sure to subscribe, engage, save all that. Next episode will be with my cousin, Mark, who played for Bo in Nebraska. We tell some funny stories about the Nebraska days, talk a little bit more about Youngstown. And uh, this next episode will, will air next week. Thanks so much. <laughs>